What's up, everybody? It is Vlogmas Day 12. Let's go. I come from my This is a redo of the video that I tried to post a few days ago um, where I lost footage. Um, I'm going to do 21 questions. Um, I'm using a random question generator. Um, I'm going to put the link to the generator uh, in the description. So we're just going to go right ahead and jump into the video. First question, pizza or tacos? Pizza. Uh, pizza is actually my favorite food, so um, definitely pizza over tacos. What's one of your favorite comfort foods? Um, I would have to say ice cream. Ice cream is definitely one of my favorite comfort foods. What talent would you show off in a talent show? Uh, I would sing. Uh, that's one of my hobbies. It's one of the things that I enjoy doing. Uh, so I would definitely uh, show off my voice and sing. In your group of friends, what role do you play? Depends on what group of friends you're talking about. Um, I would say my group of friends um, that I've made here in Tampa, I would say... The responsible one. <laughs> um, whenever it comes to us going out as a group or something like that, I am typically the DD. Uh, me, yeah, yeah, the DD. Um, and I'm really responsible for everyone. Um, I just make sure everyone stays safe. What's one of your? Okay, we already answered that. Let's see if we can get another one. Okay, uh, what do you like most about your family? Uh, I will say that my immediate family is very supportive. Uh, they uh, check on me pretty much every day. My mom and dad do. Um, and my sister talk, you know, throughout the week. Um, they're very supportive. Um, they definitely show uh, the love that they have for me. Uh, and, um, yeah, so, yeah, definitely um, their support for me and how much they love me. What story does your family always tell about you? Depends on who they're talking to and if it's my sister, how much she wants to embarrass me uh, in front of that person. So it just really depends on who they're talking to. Let's see. Do you have any nicknames? Yes, plenty. Uh, but the one that I most mostly called is Berto, which is short for Roberto in Spanish. Uh, my sister gave me that nickname, so it just kind of stuck. So pretty much everybody in my family calls me Berto. Who is one of your best friends and what do you love about them? Uh, I would say that would be my best friend, Tanya. Uh, we became friends in undergrad at Troy. Um, and she's just a real person. Uh, she's going to tell me when I'm right, tell me when I'm wrong. Um, she's all about having fun. But at the same time, uh, she's going to make sure that I do what I need to do. And that's really a true friend. Let's see. Would you rather be stuck on a broken ski lift or a broken elevator? Hmm. I would definitely go with a broken elevator. Uh, if I'm on a ski lift... I'm outside, it's cold, it's probably windy, uh, and I'm going to get extremely cold. I'm going to get frustrated because I am cold and there's nothing I can do about it. However, if I'm in an elevator, I know that there's more than likely uh, some type of rescue going on to get me out. Um, depending on what floor I'm on, um, I'm not really worried about it falling, uh, you know, so... I'd rather be stuck in the elevator where it's one of those things where I know that someone can get to me quickly. Excuse me. Versus a ski lift. That's going to take a while. 
Um, cause you, depending on where you are on this key lift, you probably will have to wait for them to start it back up before they could get to you. Have you ever saved someone's life? No, I've never saved someone's life. I joke about, I joke around one of my friends about the fact that I saved her life, but in reality, I didn't really save her life, but it's just a running joke that we have. What are you natural at? Um, I would say just being a people person. Um, that's just something that I'm really natural with, uh, just being a people person and um, getting to know people, kind hearted. Um, so yeah. What is one of the greatest values that guides your life? Uh, it may sound cliche, but treat others the way you want to be treated. Uh, that's something that I live by. Uh, I treat people the way I expect to be treated. Uh, there are times that that is not the case, but that is just something that I live by. I'm going to treat you the way that I want you to treat me. In other words, I'm going to be the night one, probably one of the nicest person, people that you've ever met uh, because I want to be treated the exact same way. What are you interested in that most people haven't heard about? Um, business. Uh, people know that I'm into politics and I'm into uh, studying the law, but I'm also into business. Um, business really interests me. Uh, and I'm currently working on my MBA, uh, before returning to law school to finish up my law degree. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely, there's something that I'm interested in and most people, um, haven't heard about concerning me, uh, is the fact that I am interested in business. Let's see. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? and why um that is a really good question um i would probably say the ability to have people tell the truth uh one of my biggest pet peeves is being lied to uh so i would definitely want to know what the truth was no matter how bad it was um i'd rather you tell me the truth than to lie to me Okay, let's see. Next question. Pirates or ninjas? Hmm. Depends on the situation. Um, but if I had to just choose off the top of my head pirates and ninjas, I would probably go with ninjas because I feel like they're cooler than pirates. Alright. What's on your bucket list this year? Well, pretty much everything I had on my bucket list for 2020 was canceled. So something that's on my bucket list for 2021 is to go to Las Vegas. So I'm in the process of planning that trip and preparing to go um, to Las Vegas next year. Okay. Let's see. What have you created that you are most proud of? Um, I've created uh, a website um, for my chapter in the fraternity that I'm in. I'm really proud of that website. Uh, so that's something that I'm really proud of. If you were a vegetable, what vegetable would you be? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> these are some really random questions. Uh, I would say maybe... Uh, green bean, uh, just because it's one of the most common vegetables that I could think of that most people enjoy. Uh, so I would say a green bean. All right, I already answered that question. What's something you learned in the last week? I have learned that delivering packages for Amazon is not as easy as people may think. And it's, but at the same time, it's also not as hard as people may think. What is a fictional place you most like to go? Wakanda. Very easy. Straight to the point. I would love to go to Wakanda. What is something you could never seem to finish? Um, Annabelle. The movie Annabelle. I have not finished that movie. 
Uh, um, I love scary movies, but that is one movie uh, that I have not finished yet. What's something you wished you'd figured out sooner? Uh, I wish that I had figured out um, how to recognize when people are real and when people are fake. Uh, although there are those times when um, I may not recognize it, I'm definitely um, able to discern when someone is being real or fake now. I don't even know what question I'm on, guys. Um, I'm just going to say that I'm on number 17. We're going to go from there. Uh, what is your worst habit? Saying, um, <laughs> that is my worst habit. Uh, even in speaking, I said a lot of my vlogs. And that's something I really normally, I was really getting a handle on the more that I was speaking in front of people. So I really want to work on that. So definitely saying, um. Who is your favorite teacher and why? Uh, I would say my history teacher in middle school, Mr. Fry. Uh, he was really cool. Uh, he made us laugh all the time. But at the same time, if you were speaking after he rung the bell at lunch, you were put on isolation. I had to sit alone during lunch the next day or for how many every days he decided uh, so, but he was a really cool history teacher, um, and I still have contact with him now. What makes you cry? I don't cry a lot, uh, but one thing that does make me cry is losing a loved one. What languages do you speak? English. Uh, I know a little bit of Spanish, and I know some Latin, um, but that's, the Latin that I know is mostly from singing. All right. What inc incredibly strong opinion do you have that is completely unimportant in the grand scheme of things? Um, I'm a very opinionated person. So I would say it's kind of hard to nail that down because a lot of things that I deem as important, a lot of people don't deem as important. So that one, be, that one is kind of hard to nail down to just one. Pet peeves, being late. I hate being late. If you're late, if you're more, I would say more than 30 minutes late to something, there's really no point in going or coming. Uh, I probably, if it's something that I plan with someone and they're more than 30 minutes late, there's a pretty good chance I'm either going to A, leave them or B, cancel it. So yeah, that's just that. Uh, and I believe this one is going to be question number 21. Um... <laughs> If you had to change your name, what would you change it to? One, I like my name, um, but as a kid, I hated my middle name. I would definitely change that. However, I do not know what I would change that to. Uh, uh, but I love my middle name now. Uh, but as like I said, as a kid, I hated that. Uh, my hated my middle name. And this is just a bonus question. Uh, one of my friends commented on my last. A video and asked what happened with the boiling of the water situation that was going on here in Tampa. Uh, they did fix the water main break and the test came back negative enough times that they lifted the boiling of the water ordinance that they had in place. So yeah guys that is my 21 questions. Uh, if it was not 21, I'm sorry. If it was more than 21, then great. Uh, but I want to let you guys know that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. I want you guys to prepare for this week. Make this one of the best weeks of the year if possible. And I also want to let you know that God loves you more. Until next time, peace.